Hey, it's Jen Wiederstrom coming to you in strength and shedding light on the number one question I get, the number one worry, the number one concern I get around dieting, food, and health. Can I have the foods I love and still lose weight? Can I have the foods I love and still be healthy? Can I have pizza? Hello, I get that one, that's number one. Pizza's always top of the list. And the answer is yes. And I'm going to explain to you why. So whether you're someone that's just interested in keeping in their favorite foods, but also interested in being a bit healthier and losing some uh, unwanted belly fat or just fat on your body to be healthier, um, or you're someone that's one of the thousands that have been doing my carb cycling challenges, I can explain to you why this system around carbohydrates is so effective and why they're also so necessary. Because I think the misconception is carbohydrates make you fat and that is not the case. I will tell you the scenario where a surplus or too many carbohydrates will get in the way of that health goal and also how carbohydrates, though at the right amounts, um, are life-changing for your body and for your muscle. Because if you know me, you know that muscle pays for the party, right? You can't get this in the way that uh, carbohydrates do um, without any kind of other help. So that said, I'm gonna show you, I'm looking down because I have a little setup here. This is the way I learned how to explain this. So I'm gonna explain it to you as well. In the exact same way, I'm very visual. So what you have is this beautiful setup, right? We've got three tiers of which we are going to, here we go, allow our carbohydrates into our system. So what we have in the very beginning, when you have carbohydrates, whether that is pasta, pizza, um, cereal, donuts, any of those kind of items that you're into, um, it could be starches like oatmeal and sweet potatoes, all of them alike, right? They're gonna go into this first this first tier, right? This is for your liver. Your liver is the first one that gets a crack at, crack at those starches. It's gonna yield about 50 to 100 grams of carbohydrates, meaning right when it gets it, it's gonna take that those carbohydrates and it's gonna immediately use it to like boost your metabolism. Um, it's gonna feed it to your organs. It's gonna feed it to your brain. This is really critical for you. I don't know if you've ever seen people that have been cutting carbohydrates to get leaner for like a bodybuilding competition and they're always like a little bit fuzzy, a little brain dead. I did a figure competition once, so I know from experience, you get a little like zoned out and foggy. It's because we're not getting enough starches to the brain. So it's very common, um, but that's why we need it right here in this first tier. Now, once we go over about those 100 carbohydrates, it's gonna spill over to the next category. What is this next category? Your muscles, right? The muscles now, these, this musculoskeletal system, it's what's doing your work, it's what's moving your body, it's what's creating your power, it's what's making you capable. And this, uh, this tier, um, utilizes so many more carbohydrates than the first. So if we're looking at 50 to 100 carbohydrates for your liver, for your for your muscles, we're looking to be between 200 and 400 grams of carbohydrates. So this is far more than up here and your body needs it, loves it, fuels it, and it's like a wrecking ball, right? Your body loves this. Now here's where it's really important. Once we get through these two tiers and we're tapped out on both, meaning we're filled up, we spill to the next level. And this is where your body starts to store those carbohydrates and sugar as body fat. So that's what I mean by surplus earlier. So when you consume more than your body requires to be fueled and function, we do start to store. So how do we make sure we don't start storing body fat is when we need to use up the carbohydrates in there. How do we do that? Number one, Muscles, we work out, we're active, we're hiking, we're lifting, we're running, we're jazzercising, whatever it is for you, right? That is how we start to empty these tears as we go through so we don't spill over into a surplus. Another way you do that, as you see with my carb cycling challenge, is when we have a high carb day, which is we fill and fill and instead of filling and spilling over into the fat category, we then go into low carb days. So then we're able to use the carbohydrates for those next few days, so we're not going over. So it's a really clear system. You can see you just gotta think liver first, then muscle, and then it starts to become an issue. But if you are responsible, let me lift you back up. If you are responsible for understanding those calories and the macros you need, which I do teach in my carb cycling challenge, and that's a, a really easy way to say to you is, uh, we have uh, a total daily energy expenditure in our bodies 
that's required to keep moving based on my activity level, um, based on my age, based on my gender. There's a lot of different uh, biomarkers that tell you that. And so what starts to happen then is now I understand that number for me, and that's why through carb cycling or macro counting, you're going to understand what your body needs so you don't spill over into that third category of fat storage. So um, I hope this clears some things up for you uh, and take some fear away from those carbohydrates because you can have them. I have pizza at least two to three times a month, but I do it in a way where I'm tracking the amount of carbohydrates and macros I'm eating. I'm still moving and I'm still active and I don't want for anything, right? I get to have it all because I understand the content of the food that I'm eating and how many I actually, how many carbohydrates I actually need for my liver and muscles and not the spillover, okay? I hope to see you in one of my next challenges and I hope this is very helpful. Definitely comment below if you wanna hear more stuff like this and I hope you liked my diagram. Okay, that was fun. I hope to see you again soon and go to weedastrong.com to sign up for all things Jen and I can keep you in my loop or else Hank will come after you. <laughs>